On the 22nd of September 2022, I posted a TikTok about a man who was following me on TikTok and I want to give you all an update. Firstly, thank you to everyone who has shared their story about this man. Others have also stated that he is not working alone and I will leave screenshots of different people who have been intimidated by him. He intimidates women in malls and women have come across him in Mainland Mall, Santon Mall, Eastgate Mall, Mall of Africa, Parkview, Woodlands Mall, and other locations. My incident took place in Mainland Mall on Thursday, the 22nd of September at 12.29. It has come to my attention that there is a misleading and poorly formed article by IOL.co.za written by Jolene Maria Maharaja that has been published online without contacting me for the truth. Today, I will correct all the errors with proof. As per the article, Nisha Kemraj, the general manager for Mainland Park Mall, claims that I opted to not press charges and that I continued with my shopping and that a day later, I scripted my video. And now I want to break it down to you with the facts. Number one, the Mainland Mall security never offered to call the police and they never encouraged and or advised me to open a police case. In fact, I was extremely traumatized and did not want to see the suspect for my own safety and mental health. The team agreed with me. Here is an audio that I want you guys to listen to that I recorded that will prove this. Audio was recorded at 12.57 on the 22nd of September for my own safety. This is the same day of the incident. So what is the way forward? The person has been apprehended. What are we gonna do now? No, I can send a video to me, please. Hey, what is this business? If I have a by now, customers are complaining about it. What is this business? If I have a casino by now, customers are complaining about it. What is this business? If I have a casino by now, customers are complaining about it. What is this business? If I have a casino by now, customers are complaining about it. What is this business? If I have a casino by now, customers are complaining about it. What is this business? If I have a casino Now, as you can hear, they never ever insinuated that police should come or that I have the option of opening a police case. No one advised me about that. Secondly, Nisha states that I continued with my shopping. This is false. I went to Woolworths as it was the closest store to the security office that I could think of. I purchased a dress and shoes that I did not budget for and I will provide a slip as proof. I made payment at 13.13pm as I took time trying to find something that I could afford. I changed in the Woolworths fitting rooms and even took off my wig. I was very scared and I took my time in the fitting room trying to calm down. I was scared, rightfully so, as I later discovered that the suspect does not work alone. 
I walked alone from Woolworths to Ocean Basket and my Uber arrived to pick me up at 13.35 on the 22nd of September 2022 and I will leave a screenshot as proof. Thirdly, the article then states that a day later I scripted my video. A very basic social media search and just basic journalism will show that the video was posted to my TikTok account on the exact day, same day of the incident in the afternoon. Since the incident, I have opened a police case and I encourage all victims of this man's intimidation tactics to open a supporting case for the justice and freedom of women in South Africa. Thank you to everyone who shared the video. I really appreciate it. People who shared it on Instagram, on WhatsApp, on TikTok. It is very important for us to raise awareness. Since the incident took place, no one, absolutely no one from Mainland Mall has attempted to contact me. I am the one who's constantly asking for an update. I'm the one who's trying to call them. I'm the one who's trying to send a WhatsApp. I am literally the one who's trying to find out what happened afterwards. They do not want to communicate with me. They would rather go and speak to journalists and spread lies about me. Not an official, not a manager. No one has gotten in touch with me. And even more disappointing, no journalist has gotten in touch with me. You can Google me. You can find my email address. No one has bothered to contact me at all. I'm also deeply insulted by the insinuations made by Cam Raj. She has not contacted me. She has not spoken to me. She does not know me. She does not even care to find out what happened. So for her to say that they are customized for purpose and it isn't entirely representative of what transpired on the day, how do you know what happened when you were not there? And you didn't bother to contact me, the victim. I am traumatized and I am pursuing therapy. Right now, my therapist is on leave, which is very unfortunate. But I wanted to give you guys an update. I do have a police case. I have reported this. There are many, 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 many people who have been intimidated by this man. If you guys are unaware, only 1% of people survive human trafficking. I don't know how that 1% would then come back and tell us what happened after he asked for petrol money and said he will drive.